hello guys welcome back to your channel learning point today we are continuing with the logarithmic differentiation that we stopped in our previous lecture i took some examples and the basic concepts of logarithmic differentiation in the last lecture today we are starting with exercise 3.2 3.3 in fact of your hsc board book wealth commerce let us start with question number 1 Question number one says, find dy by dx. Under that, the first one that we are having over here is, y is equal to x to the power x and again to the power 2x. So yes guys, you can see it is a function to raise to another function. So whenever we have to simplify this kind of a question, we have to take log on both the sides. So we will say taking log on both the sides log y is equal to log of x raised to x raised to 2x so guys this entire term will come behind the log because of the property log of m raised to n which is equal to n into log of n in case if you wish to study the properties of logarithm more in detail i am giving a link of my video for the properties of logarithms kindly visit that and learn all the properties of logarithms really very thoroughly. So over here, it will become what is equal to x to the power 2x multiplied by log of x. Now this will be one term, this will be the another term. But still, in this term, we see that the power is a function. The power has a variable. Now, when we are having again variable raised to variable, once again, we have to say over here, again taking log. On. Both sides. Once again, when we take log on both the sides, left hand side will become log of log y on the right hand side it will become log of x raised to 2x into log of x so this becomes multiplication of two log elements we have the property which says log of m into n is going to be equal to log of m plus log of n. So according to this property, I can say that log of log y is equal to log of first term x raised to 2x plus log of second term which is log of log x. So now over here this 2x will come behind the log. So left hand side will become log of log y and on the right hand side I get 2x multiplied by log x plus log of log x. So guys, further simplification is not possible. So we are having two terms which are multiplied over here. So I consider this is u and this is v. And for the last term, I have to use my formula for log of fx when I am differentiating this with respect to x. So on the left hand side it is going to be 
once again log of fx so i get 1 upon log y multiplied by derivative of log y which is 1 by y dy by dx on the right hand side it is v derivative of u plus u derivative of v the multiplication rule so it is log x into derivative of 2x plus 2x into derivative of log x i will write the rule for you guys over here y is equal to u into v then dy by dx is equal to v du by dx plus u dv by dx so that was for the first term v into derivative of u plus u into derivative of v and for the second term it is log of fx which is 1 upon fx so i can write over here 1 upon log x multiplied by derivative of log x so guys left hand side will become 1 upon y log y into dy by dx and on the right hand side log x multiplied by 2 plus 2x multiplied by 1 by x plus 1 upon log x into 1 upon x as you very well know that we are interested in the value of dy by dx so what we do is we cross multiply the y into log y on the left hand side to the right hand side so what we get over here is therefore dy by dx is equal to y into log y 2 into log x plus this x and x will get cancelled off so I get plus 2 plus 1 upon x into log x so now we have to substitute over here the values of y and the value of log y from our given question so I will get over here therefore dy by dx what was your value of y x raised to x raised to two x and what is the value of log y if you can see over here it is x raised to two x multiplied by log x so I will get over here x raised to two x multiplied by log x and we write all the remaining terms inside the bracket as it is so you get over here 2 log x plus 2 plus 1 upon x into log x now further maximum that we have to do is we have to take out this common from both the terms and by we will reach our final answer so i will get over here therefore dy by dx is equal to x raised to x raised to 2x multiplied by x raised to 2x multiplied by log x and inside the bracket when i get 2 common i get it as log x plus 1 plus 1 upon x into log x yes guys i hope that this helps you to understand the first sum it's a very easy sum guys so that ends our question We all know that we are always going to highlight our answers with a box so that 
looks good in presentation of your paper. So that's why we we'll put that particular sum inside of box. Okay. Now let us see the sum number. Sum number 2 says it is x raised to e raised to x. Once again, a similar sum, guys. We will again start with taking log on both sides. to x into log x. So now this is one term and this is another term. This becomes your value of log y. Now guys, e raised to x is a standard function. Log x is a standard function. So we know the derivative of these both terms. So we don't need to apply log once again. If you observe your first question, I will show you once again. Here, x raised to 2x is not a standard function even though log x is a standard function. So because x raised to 2x is not a standard function, therefore what I have to do over here is I am taking log once again over here on both the sides. Am I clear with comparison of the two questions to all of you guys? So now once we are not able to simplify this further, as you all know that we have to differentiate this with respect to x now. So I will now write over here differentiating with respect to x and you guys very well know the derivative of log y 1 by y dy by dx. Over here the two terms are multiplied so we consider the first term as u the second term as v. So when I want to find the derivative it is v into derivative of u so log x into derivative of e raised to x plus e raised to x into derivative of log x. So I leave this dy by dx over here as it is. Cross multiply this y on the opposite side. We log x, we write it down as it is. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. This e raised to x comes down as it is. Derivative of log x is 1 by x. So I get that 1 by x over there. Now guys, we can take out e raised to x common from both the terms in this step. So I will write over here e raised to x. Secondly, I can re-substitute for y. So I will write over here. substituting y. So in that case I will get over here e raised to x the value of y that we all have over here x to the power e to the power x and then inside the bracket log x plus 1 by x quite easily done, right guys? Such a simple sum this is. Okay, so we will go to our sum number 3. Sum number 3 says it is y is equal to e to the power x and again to the power x. Yes. So now, as it is function raised to variable, so what we will do over here is, I will say, take log on both sides. So derivative, in fact, log y will be on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, it will become log of e to the 
power x to the power x. Now what I will do is I will consider this entire term together and take it behind the logarithm. So as per the property, it says x raised to x into log of e. Now you all know that log of e value is 1. So I can say over here that log y is equal to x to the power x. But once again, because it is variable raised to variable, again, we have to take log over here. On both sides. So I will get over here log of log y is equal to log of x to the power x. Now you guys have guessed it very correctly. The power x will go behind the log. So it will become x times log x is equal to log of log y. Any further simplification is not available guys. So now we will differentiate this with respect to x. So what is log of log y derivative? Log of fx. So it is 1 upon log y multiplied by derivative of log y. And as you know, whenever we take derivative of y, we have to multiply this with dy by dx. Therefore, I get 1 by y dy by dx. On the right hand side, we will consider the first term as u and the second term as v. So we will apply the multiplication rule or the uv rule as you all know. So it says v into derivative of u. So log x into derivative of x plus x into derivative of log x. Now when we take the derivative this log x over here will be as it is. Derivative of x is 1, so we write it 1. Plus, this x comes down as it is, and derivative of log x is 1 by x. So, these both x values will get cancelled off. Cross multiply this y log y on the opposite side. So, we are left with dy by dx over here. y times log y. And inside the bracket, it is just log of x plus 1. Now just resubstitute the values of y and log y and we are done with our answer. dy by dx is equal to e raised to x raised to x. Log y was x raised to x and it is log of x plus 1. So that is your answer. For sum number 3 of question number 1. Let's begin with question number 2. Again, the question remains the same. To find dy by dx. But the functions will change over here, guys. The first question that you are having over here, it says y is equal to 1 plus 1 by x whole power x. So when I want to take the derivative of this, this is function to the power variable. Therefore, I have to bring that variable of power to the base. So the only idea is take log. On both sides. So left hand side will become log y, right hand side will become log of 1 plus 1 by x whole power x. Now as you all know this x will come behind the logarithm so the answer will come out to be equal to x into log of 1 plus 1 by x is equal to log y. Now any further simplification is not possible. So we both we will get multiplication of these 
both terms. So I consider that this is u and this is v. So differentiating with respect to x derivative of log y as you all know 1 by y dy by dx it is p into derivative of u into derivative of x plus x into derivative of log of 1 plus 1 by x. So now this 1 by y dy by dx will be left as it is right hand side. Leave this 1 plus 1 by x as it is. Derivative of x is 1 plus we leave this x as it is and derivative of log of 1 plus 1 by x. Now what I can do over here is before taking the derivative I can write it like this. A little bit of application of property log of x plus 1 upon x. So what I am doing is I have just taken the LCM remaining all terms will be just copied down as it is guys without any change 1 by y dy by dx log of 1 plus 1 by x plus leave this x as it is and over here it will become d by dx of log of x plus 1 minus log x. I am using the property of log of m by n which is equal to log of m minus log of n. This will simplify your problem. The reason is that log of 1 plus 1 by x is a composite function of log x. Log x. So in order to simplify that, the easiest idea was to apply log to both the terms by using the property. So therefore, what we do is we use this property log n by n which is equal to log of n minus log of n. Now, what I do is once again differentiate this with respect to x, 1 by y, dy by dx, which is left as it is. And the first term log of 1 plus 1 by x plus x into bracket. Now derivative of log of x plus 1 will be 1 upon x plus 1 multiplied by derivative of x plus 1 minus 1 by x. So now what is derivative of x plus 1 guys? I am sure you know that. Yes, the answer for derivative of log of x plus 1, 1 of x plus 1 is just equal to 1. So therefore, this 1 by y dy by dx is kept as it is. Log of 1 plus 1 by x minus x into bracket 1 by x plus 1 multiplied by derivative of x which is equal to 1 and minus 1 by x it is kept as it is. So now what we do over there is we cross multiply this y on the opposite side this is equal to y into bracket log of 1 plus 1 by x minus multiply this x inside the bracket x upon x plus 1 minus x upon x. So over here this x and x will get cancelled off. Now 
there is a little bit of simplification over here guys minus now take lcm with this so it is x minus x and minus 1 plus and minus will become minus 1 divided by x plus 1 once again this positive and negative x will get cancelled off so over there I will be left out with y and bracket log of 1 plus 1 by x this minus and minus will become plus 1 upon x plus 1 finally just we will resubstitute the value of y dy by dx is equal now what was the value of y over here guys it was 1 plus 1 upon x whole power x and the remaining bracket elements as it is log of 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 upon x plus 1 so that is the answer for your sum number 2 now let us go to our question number in fact sum number 2 the first sum now we will go to our sum number y over there is equal to 2x plus 5 to the power x. Sorry for the weight guys. Take log on both sides over here. So log of y is equal to log of x plus 5 to the power x. This x will go behind the logarithm over there. So when we take it behind the log, we will get it as x into log of 2x plus 5. So that is equal to your value of log y. Just as we did in the previous case guys, we will consider this as our u and this entire term has v. So when we take the derivative, we have to say over here, differentiate with respect to else. Derivative of log y is 2 by y into dy by dx on the is equal to log 2x plus 5 into derivative of x plus x into derivative of log 2x plus 5. Now log 2x plus 5 derivative of x over there is 1 plus we bring this x down over here as it is and I get log of fx formula which is 1 upon fx into the derivative of fx so it is 1 upon into derivative of 
टू एक्स प्लस वाई क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस वाई ऑन द अपोजिट साइड गाइस यू विल गेट वाई इनटू लॉग ऑफ टू एक्स प्लस फाइव इस कैसे आ गया इस ओवर योर प्लस एंड व्हाट इस डेरिवेटिव ऑफ टू एक्स टू इस द कोइफिशिएंट डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स इस वन and constant five is constant, so derivative of the constant is zero. So we just get two into one. Finally, just re-substitute the value of y, and you will get dy by dx is equal to. What was the value of y, guys? Two x plus five whole power x. Two x plus five whole raise two x multiplied by log of 2x plus 5 as one term plus 2x upon 2x plus 5 as the another term. So that is your answer for the sum number 2. Let us see the third sum of question number 2. Sum number 3 is of various powers. The second type of question y is equal to cube root of 3x minus 1 upon 2x plus 3 multiplied by 5 minus x and square of that. So, the first thing that we will be doing over here is we will try to Simplify these powers and how do we simplify the powers? We will say over here three x minus one to the power one upon three two x plus three power 1 upon 3 pi minus x the whole square and again whole power 1 upon 3 therefore this will become y is equal to to the power Two x plus three to the power one upon three, and according to the laws of indices, guys, this two and one by three will get multiplied, and we will get over here two by three. Now, any further simplification is not there, but in order to adjust the powers, what I have to do is I have to take log on both sides. So when we take log on both sides, left hand side will over here will become log y and right hand side will become log of this entire part that you are having on the right side. Divided by Now the property that we will apply over here first is log of m upon n and the property is log of n minus log of n. So according to that this entire term, entire denominator is assumed as n. So therefore x minus 1 to the power 1 by 3 minus log of 2x plus 3 into 
5 minus x to the power 2 by 3. Now the first term will be left as it is over here guys without any change. We will leave this 1 by 3 over here. But for the second term again there is a property as you all know log of m into n where the logarithm elements will get added in both the terms. So log of m plus log of n. So the first term is taken as m, second term is taken as n. So when I apply the property, we have to be careful there is a minus sign behind over here. So I will be very carefully writing all these things inside the bracket. Log of 2x plus 3 to the power 1 by 3 plus log of 5 minus x to the power 2 by 3. Now in the next step, we will be doing two things together. One, I will be opening this square brackets and the second, I will apply the property of log which is log m raised to n is n times log of m. So I transfer this 1 by 3 behind the log. So I get therefore, this is my value of log y 1 by 3 log 3x minus 1 minus 1 by 3 log 2x plus 3 minus and plus will become minus. So I get minus 2 by 3 log 5 minus x. Any further simplification is not there. So now I can differentiate this with respect to x. Derivative of log y as you rightly know it is 1 by y dy by dx. On the right hand side this 1 by 3 is a coefficient so we leave it log of 3x minus 1, log of 2x plus 3 and log of 5 minus x. They all satisfy the formula log of fx. So the answer for that is 1 upon fx multiplied by derivative of fx that is d by dx of fx. So this term is considered as fx. Again this term is taken as fx. And for the last, 5 minus x will be taken as fx. So when we substitute the formula, I get 1 upon 3x minus 1 multiplied by derivative of 3x minus 1 minus 1 upon 3 into 1 upon 2x plus 3 into derivative of 2x plus 3. And for the last term, 2 by 3 into 1 upon 5 minus x into derivative of 5 minus x. So, we leave this 1 by y dy by dx as it is. Multiply these both terms. 3 into bracket 3x minus 1. What is derivative of 3x minus 1 guys? It is 3 into derivative of x which is 1. Derivative of 1 is 0. So we ignore that. Minus 1 by 3. And I take this term together over here. Derivative of 2x plus 3 is going to be 2 into 1 plus derivative of 3 which is equal to 0. So we just write 2 into 1 minus 2 by 3. Now for this term you have to be careful. Derivative of 5 is 0. Derivative of x is 1. So there is a minus sign in between. So derivative is actually minus 1. But we write it as 0 minus 1. Cross multiply this y on the opposite side. So dy by dx will be equal to 
cancel in the common value 3 and 3. So I get over here. minus 2 upon 3 into bracket 2x plus 3 minus in fact plus 2 upon 3 into bracket 5 minus x. Now Further, what we do over here is we resubstitute over here the value of y so you get dy by dx is equal to Cube root of 3x minus 1 upon 2x plus 3 into 5 minus x the whole square into 1 upon 3x minus 1 2 upon 3 into 2x plus 3 plus 2 upon 3 into bracket 5 minus x. So that completes your sum guys. So that is your question number 2. Now this is a long exercise. There is one more question left which has very lengthy sum. So I will record another video and I will post another video immediately as soon as this particular video ends. Thank you everyone.